Adam Bazaljet here from Scratch Golf Academy. Today, golf backswing drills create a consistent backswing. I'll show you three things that you have to do to make a good backswing. Simple drills for each, some parameters. And at the end of the video, we'll talk about a key that will really, really help you keep it consistent. Hope you'll consider subscribing to this channel. Helps us build momentum and bring you more free content. Hope you go to the App Store and check out the Scratch Golf Academy app. Lots of stuff there, including full swing courses and short game courses, etc. Okay, so if a backswing's going to be good, it's got to be. It's got to be good. It's got to have reasonably strong positions. Most people's backswing are a lot more repeatable than they think. They're just not a very good backswing. So let's look at point number one. That's the body motion. Let's have a look on TV. So there's Michelle Wee in her younger years there. David Ledbetter is her coach, my old boss there. Let's put a line on her spine. And basically, when we look at the pivot, it pivots around a pretty stable axis. Does her head move at all? A tiny bit. There's a little bump of weight to the right. But round numbers, that's right around the axis. And when you look on the downline view, again, you'll see she pivots around that axis. Her turn is very perpendicular to her spine angle. So we need to practice the body motion without the club a few minutes a week away from the golf course. Here's what you're going to notice. Two things. When you look from here, most people are either too bent forward this way or they tilt and their hips slide and they topple that way. If you're a tilter, keep your bend and try to picture a nice tight turn around your spine like so, so that this stays compact. If you're the kind of person that's here, what you actually need is more extension or lengthening of this trail side. You just have to practice it till you get the feel. And as we look at it from this angle, if you notice in your golf swing, as I do a little bit in mine, a tendency to get away from the ball, you need more side bend in your backswing. So as you're pivoting, slightly bend towards the golf ball etc. And what you need to do is find out what the right feel is for you. My tendencies get too much this way, get too far from the ball. I know for me, I have to feel some stretch in my right side and some bend towards the golf ball. Get to know your feel and map it in. Number two on our list here of good backswing traits, and you need some space between your head or your body and the club, if you like. So Jack Nicklaus showing great space there. Left arm slightly bent, but still great space. Location is looked at from down the line. Let's look at Vijay Singh, just a great looking backswing. There's certainly some space here, but if you look at his left arm plane, which is what I want to focus on, it's almost right across his shoulder plane. That's a great look, but you have options there. You could do, say, Gary Woodland. His left arm plane is a little bit above his shoulder plane, and maybe on the other side, Lee Westwood, whose left arm plane slightly below it, but they're all in the same general neighborhood there. Okay, next thing, hand location. We just looked at that. A great drill, get, the, get your hands up against your shoulder and just push them out. You need to use a mirror a little bit. Again, I'm mean, suggesting some at-home practice. Find that location. Now, just a little thought here. If you tend to have a lot of body rotation coming back, you're probably better with a slightly flatter arm swing. If you tend to be more of a slider of the hips, you probably need slightly more upright, but somewhere around your shoulder. And as you look from this angle, push out, but if you're not that flat, flexible through the lats. Don't get too stiff, just allow it to soften a little bit as long as there's some space. What you want to do then, a little bit of pivots, find that location. I go without a club in my hand till I can start to nail those two spots. You have to put a little bit of work in away from the golf ball. I'm telling you, if you're going to find a good golf swing, just hitting balls, not likely to do it. Let's look at number three. Aaron Badley on the left, Davis Love on the right there. So third and final one, you want a nice full free wrist cock and you want the club in balance. So if directly at the targets there, hey, I've chosen Davis Love and Aaron Badley because they're a little bit off that, showing you there's some parameters certainly, but balanced, fully hinged, relatively pointed down your target line. So let's look at this wrist cock. You want the club reasonably, what I would call, in balance. That's laid off. Been some great players do that. There's been some great players here. But for the majority of people, balanced more on your thumbs at the top. I am not a big fan of what appears to be a flat left wrist. Your wrist can be flat and your knuckles still stick out a bit when you make a golf grip. So it should have a little bit of angle depending on your grip. Here's how I would go about it. And let's assume your grip's enough in the fingers and is relatively wrapped over the club. Stand in front 
front of you, the simplest wrist cock is straight up and down. Couldn't be any easier. I doubt your wrist will look, look dead flat. And once you've put it here, just go to the top and you'll have your position. Now, we've been talking, it takes a few minutes to map these things in, a few minutes a night at home, or at least every third night or something like that. Here's the key for the long run. If you're going to play good golf, you need, number one, a pretty good backswing. You have to have a lot of timing and coordination to get way out of position and recover consistently. Number two, you have to, it has to be automatic enough for you that you can really focus your energies on the target and the flow in the downswing. So once you've found these three spots for yourself, do about five minutes a week maintaining them and hitting them. It'll become just automatic. You will play better golf for the long run. A little bit of work involved. You can do it. You'll play better.